Hello, sports fans, and uh, welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Caps uh, Game 3 uh, Round 1 NBA Playoffs Recap Show. Well, it was not a good night for Caps star Donovan Mitchell, and it was uh, predicted uh, Chelsea Friday night. He was right. Inside the most emotionally charged building they played in all season, the young Cavs looked blinded by the New York Knicks' bright lights tonight and and uh, witted and wilted on uh, the game's grand loose stage. And Cleveland lost game three to the Feisty Knicks, 99-79. And now they find themselves down 2-1 in this top C Jersey best of seven series. And they need to win game four Sunday. That will be a must win. Mitchell, the native New Yorker who grew up about 25 miles away from uh, famed Madison Square Garden, can still remember the defending roars from his first playoff game at basketball's Mecca. Uh, that was more than a decade ago. Mitchell was only a young boy at the time, but it's an experience he will never forget. Uh, same goes for Sunday, only for all the wrong reasons. Uh, Madison Square Garden was so electric that Tory Kelly's rendition of the national anthem got drowned out by uh, animated Knicks fans who had waited 10 years for a full-capacity home game inside the famed building. Cleveland couldn't handle the noise or the pressure. The Cavs were overmatched, overwhelmed, and overpowered throughout. It just wasn't it – wasn't, it wasn't just their worst performance of the season – at the worst possible moment, it was a new mark and and fertility in the NBA this year. No team had ever had scored less than 80 points in a game this season until Friday night. More over uh, Portland Trailblazers. Cleveland has claimed that undesired spot, and nobody wanted to see that happen. Uh, out of rhythm and swarmed by the Knicks, Defense, the Cavs went 31 of 80 from the field, 7 of 33 from three-point range. They had more tur turnovers, 21, than assists, which, which was 16. Mitchell scored a team-high 22, po 22 points, and 9 of 19 shooting, and 2 of 8 from beyond uh, the arc in 38 minutes, being pulled midway through the fourth quarter. and. And the proverbial white flag of surrender. Curious Levert, who moved into the starting lineup for ineffective Isaac Okoro, was tallied, tallied 17 points, which all came in a bounce back second half. Levert started the game, uh, missing his first six shots and scoring zero in the first half uh, points before finding a shooting range. Darius Garland has had similar struggles, uh, finishing with just uh, 10 points on 4 of 21 shooting and 1, and one of 7 from deep, uh, from deep. The star of Game 2 is when Garland opened with nine straight bricks and looked frustrated. Well, flustered, excuse me. Things almost went from bad to worse in the second half as the young point guard uh, rolled his ankle on a baseline cameraman and hobbled to the bench, even though Garland returned uh, to the game and hit a couple of late-game jumpers to make the stat line look a bit better. It was far too late. The Knicks uh, got a balanced effort with five players reaching double figures. Jalen Brunson led the way with 21 points at, and on 10 of 18 shooting. A series <laughs> predicted to be a slugfest has lived up to that. The game was tied at 17 following an ugly first quarter, which the two teams combined to shoot uh, 14 of 17. It didn't get much prettier from there. The Cavs mustered just 32 points in the first half and uh, trailed by 17 going into the fourth quarter. Uh, New York's lead grew to a 27-point lead before both coaches emptied their respective benches and now it's back to the drawing board uh, uh, for the Cavs, and they will stay in the Big Apple, New York City, at Madison Square Gar Garden. For game four against the Knicks on Sunday afternoon, tip-off is set for 1 p.m. 
And I think it's on either ABC, ESPN, or Be- and also Valley Sports Ohio. Uh, check your local listings. Uh, but uh, it, it just was not – it did not bode well at all for the Cavs tonight. Things just did not bode well at all. And – And the Cavs just could not. And he had, he had a, and uh, as we go ahead, uh, Desi started. He had a very short leash in game two. And Danny Green did play tonight. He had about three points, I think. I'll get to that in a minute. And uh, but I just feel that that the Cavs need. Uh, To uh, yeah, Danny Green uh, I, I had two rebounds and one assist. Not a good night for Donovan Mitchell. He had 22 points, seven rebounds, uh, five assists. Karras the first 17 points, four uh, rebounds, three assists. Evan Mobley, 10 points, 10 rebounds, one assist. Uh, Jared Allen, six points, five rebounds, one assist. Isaac Crow, he had. Uh, in the fourth quarter, he has seven points, two rebounds, and uh, and uh, uh, Paul Neto, uh, Raul Neto, uh, uh, Neto, I had uh, he had one point and uh, one rebound. Lamar Stevens had two points and. Uh, three rebounds, and Dean Wade had two rebounds. Ricky Rubio had uh, two rebounds and one assist. And so, and C.D. Osmond had uh, two rebounds. But this was just not a good night for the Cavs. And it just, after being tied at 17, they had an early 6-5 to five lead, then it was 8-7. They were down 12-8, then it was tied at 17. But the Knicks just took over after there, and the Cavs just could not handle the pressure. And they just, they got... They got down to as much as nine, but then after that, it was the next, the rest of the way. And so the Cavs need to, to attack the rim at the ball and the rim so much more in game four. And they need to play like they did in game two and game four. And they need to be more physical and more aggressive. And they need to score from in the paint. They just uh, did not score well. And uh, they have 56 points in the – they have 48 points in the, in the paint. Excuse me. Knicks have 56. <laughs> the Cavs were 31 of 30 from field goal range. 38.8% uh, and with field goals. And they were 7 of 32 with three points. They missed way too many three points. They've got to make more three pointers. And they were uh, 10 of 17 from, from the free throw line. Got to make those free throws. And they have 42 rebounds to the Knicks 45. Offensive rebounds, they had 13, and the Knicks had 11. The Cavs had 29 and the, to the Knicks 34 in defensive rebounds. Total is just 16. Uh, and the Knicks had 21 and then four blocks. They got to block those shots. They cannot give the Knicks a opportunities to score. They've got to not do that. And that's what they were doing tonight. And seven steals to the Knicks 14. They, Way too many, had 20 turnovers in this game for the Cavs, and they just could not. The turnovers, that's what cost the game, and they had 18 foul, personal fouls in this game to the next 17. So all, all in all, it just was not a good night for the Cavs in game three as now they find themselves down 2-1 to the next in this, in this slugfest best of seven series, and it's lived up to that, as I said, but they need to be more physical, more aggressive, and attack the rim and the and the ball and the rim, and they need to block those shots. They have to not give the Knicks so many opportunities to score. And I'm serious. They need to do that. And hopefully, I, I'm hoping they need to tie it up. And, boys, you need to tie it up. And so, yeah, I, I, I don't want you going down to one. Nobody else does either. <laughs> so, we have got to tie up this series, boys. So, let's tie it up in game two Sunday. So, and hopefully we can do that. And because uh, game four is Sunday at one o'clock at Madison Square Garden. And I think I can tell you where it's going to be on right now. 
It will be on ABC. That's what station it'll be on. It won't be on Ballot Sports or ESPN. It'll be on ABC on Sunday. So uh, look for that there. And uh, uh, and the uh, Guardians and Marlins got rained out. They'll play a day night overheader tomorrow. And uh, so hopefully we can take game four Sunday. And so, uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, Cavs uh, Game 3 Round 1 NBA Playoffs uh, Recap Show. And I'll be back on Sunday with hopefully a, a, a talking about a Cavs win. Uh, it'll probably be a post-game show after that, uh, after the game. So until then, always remember, be a team player, each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.